So if, you've, if you do all that, you're, you'll be doing well, okay? But there's a few additional features I'd also like to show to you that you can sort of take your campaigns a little bit further and make your ads that bit more interesting and, and stand out more, okay? Okay, so there are ad extensions. So you can see how from the example we had earlier where you had the three lines of text, you can really add a lot more volume to your ad with ad extensions. So you can see all the different lines there and I'll walk through those. And you also have product listing ads. So these are really for anyone who sells online. You can actually, if someone searches for party dress, for example, you can have it come up in the search results that there's an image of your dress with the price. So people know straight away what they'll expect when they get through. And you can have both your ad plus the product listing ad running at the same time. So if someone searches for party dress, you can have your text ad as well as your product listing ads. So you're taking up quite a bit of space then on the search results page. Okay. So there's a location extension. So that's um, for bricks and mortar businesses really where you want people to walk into your business. So you can add your address there. And then if someone clicks on that link, they'll be brought through to Google Maps with your, your location there. You also have call extensions. So this is where your phone number shows up in your ad. So you have two options here really. You have the option to uh, just add your own number. So this is the number that's actually on your website. Or you can add uh, what's known as a Google call forwarding number. And this is a number that Google will give you. And basically if someone um, just sees this ad when they're on their computer, for example, and then they think, right, well, I'll call this number and they, they manually type it into their phone, you'll then be able to track that phone call where if it was just your own number, you wouldn't have that tracking unless you'd set up your own third party tracking with that. Okay? Um, and how it works too, it's actually free as well, which is quite nice. But basically, uh, with the call forwarding number, say, say someone sees your ad here and types in the number into their phone, but doesn't actually click on your ad, then you as the business owner don't pay anything at all and the user will just pay a local rate for that phone call. Yep. People to, if you're doing like 10 clicks per day, if you're doing 10 clicks per day and your competitors click you out, you understand what I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining that properly? Can you put your number in rather, so if you, they click, it will drag you to your phone rather than to your website? Oh, right, okay. Um, not sure if you all heard that, but um, what's your name? Steve. Stephen was asking, um, can you have the number so that if someone clicks it, they'll go directly through to calling you? Yeah. Is that right? Yep, you can also do that. So that's known as click to call with AdWords. And that's really if you're on your phone and you did that same search, and then the phone number will come up in your ad. And then if you click that phone number, then you still have the option whether it's your own phone number where you don't have tracking or it's the Google number where you do have the tracking through on that. Right, okay, so you're, you're concerned about click fraud as such where people are, your competitors are sitting and clicking away in your ad. Yeah, you generally don't need to worry about that any day, any, any more to be honest. Um, Google has been thinking of that a long time really and it's been in the game such a while that it has um, software in place as well as a, a, a tracking or a click fraud team so that um, if people are repeatedly clicking on your ad you'll never actually know because it won't come out of your budget. Google will have picked that up beforehand and that'll be filtered out. So you generally don't need to worry about that. People have kind of gone past that and Google are miles ahead of that. Okay. Any other questions? Do these They're free. So in case you missed that question too, um, okay. Ken was asking, do the extensions cost anything? But no, they're free. All you'll ever pay for is the click through on your ad, just like normal. Okay. Uh, 
Um, another example of an extension is uh, site links. So these can come in different forms and you don't really know how they'll actually appear. Google will automatically choose which links appear. But if you see here in this red box, this is one link, find your nearest store. So this company here has um, a page in their website that allows you to find your nearest store and that will take you directly through to that page. Um, they also have check and reserve, another option on their site with a different page on their website. So you're able to take people through to other pages on your site as well. And what it's most useful for probably is to give people that bit more information. So where before you're restricted to those two lines, um, and when we were writing the ads earlier, we were trying to get free delivery and not percent finance and everything in there. You can actually add those as site links and then lead through to a page with more information on delivery or not percent finance and so on. Okay? So it's recently been added as well that you can actually add two lines of text beneath your site links too. So you generally, you may as well because you can get more space by doing so. Google won't always show those two lines for you, but better to have them there so you have the chance of that. 